Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I will be teaching you on how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you haven't watched or if you haven't learned how to solve the first layer and other important concepts of this cube, please do so by watching my 3x3 Rubik's Cube first layer tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to solve the second layer of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now, let's begin. At this point, we have to place edges to its proper placement and orientation. Here is the second layer. So we need edges that don't have a yellow side because that will be incorrect since that there is no yellow side yet for the second layer. First thing that you will do is to find any edge that doesn't have a yellow side. It is recommended that the edge is on the bottom side. For example, I choose this blue red edge piece. Now move this edge piece to the blue side. Since that the side of the edge that is facing you is blue, and that red. Actually, we have to place it with the blue side because that would make the concept and the process simpler. Now that it is on the blue side already and the other side is red, that means it should go this way. Since that it is the proper side for this blue red edge piece, therefore it is going to the left. However, we have to do steps that we call algorithms. We have to do that to solve this situation. Now I'll give you a glimpse on what an algorithm is and how it's done. Algorithm is composed of letters and numbers. R stands for right side, L stands for left side, U for upside, and D for downside, F for front side, and B for back side. If it is written as is without a number or punctuation, it is going clockwise. For example, if it is R, face the right side, and the direction of the movement should go clockwise. Remember that you should not literally face the right side in doing this. You might be confused. If it is R with apostrophe and it is read as R prime, it is going counterclockwise instead. Also remember that a clockwise move for the right side seems the same for a counterclockwise move for the left side, which is the L with apostrophe or L prime. And this is the L without apostrophe. If the letter is with a number, for example, U2, you have to turn it upside 180 degrees. I think that would be enough for what we need for our tutorial in this video. If you need more, you may watch my tutorial on how to do algorithms. Let's go back to the main tutorial. If the edge piece is going to the left, like this, do this algorithm. D L, D prime, L prime. Then face the other side, which is the red side, and do this algorithm. D prime, R prime, D, R. That's it. We successfully inserted the edge piece to its proper place. In this case, we have this green-red edge piece. And here is the proper place for the green-red edge piece. Therefore, it is going to the right. Make sure that the color of the edge piece is matched with its center, which is green. Now, you may do this algorithm. It is going to the right. D prime, R prime, D, R. Then face the other side, which is the red side, and do this algorithm. D, L, D prime and L prime. That's it. We successfully inserted the edge piece to its proper place. There is actually a better way to solve this. You don't have to depend so much with the algorithm. You may just do it intuitively. For example, for this orange blue edge piece, which is going to this orange blue side, make sure that the color of the edge piece is matched with its center, which is orange. Therefore, it is going to the left. Since that it is going to the left, bring this edge piece to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring the edge piece back to the front. Also bring this left side back. Now face the other side, which is the blue side. It's just like in solving the corners. If the white side of the corner is on the right, bring it to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring back the corner to the right and bring this right side back. That's it. Now, if the edge piece should be going to the right, 
here's what you should do instead. For this orange green edge piece, which is going to this orange green side, therefore it is going to the right, make sure that the color of the edge piece is matched with its center, which is orange. Since that it is going to the right, bring this edge piece to the left, bring this right side down, bring the edge piece back to the front, also bring the right side back, and now face the other side, which is the green side. It's just like in solving the corners. If the white side of the corner is on the left, bring it to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring back the corner to the left. And bring this left side back. That's it. You might have a situation wherein the edge piece is already inserted but not properly oriented. Or it is flipped like this one. This is what you have to do. Our goal is to remove this green red edge piece from here and reinsert it in the right way. Now choose any other edge piece and insert it here. For example, this yellow red edge piece. Just assume that it is the right one for this place. You may just place it either of these two sides. But I'll just place it on the green side. Therefore, it is going to the right. Since that it is going to the right, bring this edge piece to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring the edge piece back to the front. Also bring the right side back. Now face the other side, which is the red side. If the white side of the corner is on the left, bring it to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring back the corner to the left. And bring this left side back. Now the green red edge piece is already out. We can reinsert it now to its proper position and orientation. It is facing you on its green side, so let's place it on the green side. It is going to the right. Bring this edge piece to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring the edge piece back to the front. Also bring the right side back. And now face the other side, which is the red side. If the white side of the corner is on the left, bring it to the right. Bring this left side down, bring back the corner to the left, and bring this left side back. That's it. There might be another situation where there is no edge piece left on the bottom side, but there are still edges to solve. In this case, there are two left. This blue orange and green orange should be exchanged. Now it is just the same with what we did earlier with the flipped one. This is what you have to do. Our goal is to remove this blue orange edge piece from here and reinsert it in its proper place here you can also remove the green orange edge piece first and that depends on you now choose any other edge piece and insert it here for example this yellow blue edge piece just assume that it is the right one for this place now you may just place it either of these two sides but i'll just place it on the green side therefore it is going to the left since the red is going to the left, bring this edge piece to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring the edge piece back to the front. Also bring this left side back. Now face the other side which is the orange side. If the white side of the corner is on the right, bring it to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring back the corner to the right and bring this right side back. Now the blue orange edge piece is already out. We can reinsert it to its proper position and orientation here. So let's just place it to the orange side. Make sure that it is matched with the orange center. It is going to the left. Since that it is going to the left, bring this edge piece to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring the edge piece back to the front. Also bring the left side back. Now face the other side, which is the blue side. If the white side of the corner is on the right, bring it to the left, bring this right side down, bring back the corner to the right, and bring this right side back. That's it. Now the green-orange edge piece is also already out. So here it is. We can reinsert it also to its proper position and orientation here. It is facing you on its orange side, so let's place it on the orange side. It is going to the right. Since that it is going to the right, bring this edge piece to the left. 
bring this right side down bring the edge piece back to the front also bring the right side back now face the other side which is the green side if the white side of the corner is on the left bring it to the right bring this left side down bring back the corner to the left and bring this left side back that's it for the second layer just a reminder i would really recommend solving this second layer intuitively than literally following the algorithm but eventually if you choose to use the algorithm and you continue solving it over and over you will get used to it and you don't really have to remember it i hope you understand and make sure that you already solved it before you leave this video the third and the last layer tutorial of this 3x3 cube will be uploaded very soon we're done if you managed to solve it please leave a like in this tutorial tell your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you for watching